The way a film projector works is that you see one frame for one twenty-fourth of a, of a second, it moves down, but you don't see that movement because a shutter is uh, blocking the light. And many, many projectors that preceded film projectors worked with the idea of shutter image, shutter image, shutter image. So we perceive a constant motion picture. So the idea was really to put another shutter behind the first shutter, as a, you know, try to, try to get rid of the image altogether and make this double shutter, the way they are phasing together the image. If I translate this one into cinematic terms, it also means that this is a projector. No, this is an image. No, this is both of them. To me, it's almost like we are sitting all here and watching a Super 8 movie on this wall, <laughs> except the image and the projector are squashed together into this image. I never seen this piece until it was actually installed because uh, once I got the <coughs> these uh, industrial screens, I, I went to the place which uh, painted them and I just, I just imagined it. I, I didn't know how, what it's going to look like. So it was all a, all a real a conceptual work for a, until I could see it. It's a triptych, so I was interested in uh, a very symmetrical, very classic arrangement. Uh, you could see in many Christian religious iconography. There is something very comforting. My film experiences, my architectural experiences in Europe, many of them had this triptych structure. As soon as you move just a little bit, the image radically changes. Up until close, and you know, I really would like to like challenge everybody to look at it from here. And it's hard on your eyes. You are right to the state where you cannot really focus, and it's so bothering that you cannot focus because it's not it's not clear which plane is that you are focusing on. In transmedia, we were examining digital processes for three years, and my conclusion was this. My conclusion was that. Nothing is going to replace my physical presence. And my artwork should be such that requires that presence. And it requires your eyes twitching, because it's your eye. And it's like I'm questioning your vision, if you, if you, if you can come closer. When we say illusion, we are, all, all, we, are, we are thinking about things that merely optical, and we are thinking things that are very much conceptual, like uh, our mind is tricked, not just our eye. So by saying illusion, I, I'm, I'm really interested in optical illusions. And I would like to, the reason I'm doing it is because I would like to talk about the bigger issues of being deceived.